Well, I remember I, there was a when I was a, a, you know in my early teens, I was really I started really getting into video games. I mean, and the idea of I mean I just played video games. Um, I remember when Sega first came out, I was into this video game. It it became my new toy. Um, and I remember when video games went three dimensional on us. Um, and so as I started, you know, so physics for me is no different than being, than it's a form of entertainment for me. It's fun for me. It's like playing this video game. And a lot of ways, the reason why I like doing physics, the kind of physics I do, is that there's a lot of visualization going on or actually experimenting with different ways of visualizing things. And um, so it becomes this interesting video game. Or if you like translating, I do a lot of translation between them, these images and equations. So it's sort of like you learn two different languages, and the fun is in translating from one to the other. Or looking at something that's completely understood already and figuring out a completely different way of seeing the same thing. So physics, for me, has always become this, it's an extension of a, this, a, a video game, a video game of the mind. Um, therefore, I, you know, even when I, I remember when I lived in London, I used to go to this really interesting, this cool reggae club. And I used to take my physics papers and I'd pad and go to this reggae club four o'clock in the morning, sometimes with a colleague, and we'd have a pint and we'd be doing physics in the reggae club. And every now and then, like, you know, some some club or some dancer would come by us and they would look at what we're doing and it would be a source of entertainment for them too. <laughs> so so I don't I don't mean to um to give this, um, what's the word, to misrepresent or, um, I don't mean to, um, what's the word, when you romanticize, yeah. Um, but for the most part, it has been this type of, this type of, this form of entertainment for me. Um, I think a really good book um, is um, a book that, uh, a dear colleague and friend wrote um, called Three Roads to Quantum Gravity. And it's actually a small book, and it's written in sort of like, you know, conversational um, tone by Lee Smolin. Um, it's called Three Roads to Quantum Gravity. Um, another book that I would read, I mean, of course, The Elegant Universe is a great book, um, and, you know, most, most people know about it. I recommend that, too. Um, I recommend um, a book um, that will be coming out soon that I will be a part of. Um, it's edited by Max Brockman, um, and it's called New Questions, coming out real soon. And it's a collection of essays from all different branches of science which addresses the fundamental issues in science. Um, you know, that, what are the big questions? What are the new questions? So that book will be coming out real soon. Um, in many different languages, and I think that book, you know, will get us, you know, gets us up to date, and will actually a good part of that book will correlate a lot of the sciences with each with each other. Mm -hmm.